Welcome back. I'm Wyatt Goolsby in for Lauren Ashburn. President Trump gets to work on the opioid crisis while spending time at his golf resort in New Jersey. He attended a briefing yesterday alongside the First Lady and other top advisors. Nobody is safe from this epidemic that threatens young and old, rich and poor, urban and rural communities. Everybody is threatened. President Trump calls opioid abuse a major problem for the United States, and he says he's taking action. We're going to do our job. We're going to get it going. We have a tremendous team of experts and people that want to beat this, this horrible situation that's happened in our country, and we will. We will win. We have no alternative. The stats on the epidemic are staggering. The latest government numbers show overdose deaths at an all-time high in the first nine months of last year at more than 52,000. About two-thirds of those deaths are from opioids. Experts believe the numbers will continue to rise. This is a truly an American problem. Dr. Anand Parekh, the chief medical advisor for a Washington think tank, says it's a public health crisis. We have a two-part problem in this country. We have uh, unnecessary prescription opioids, and we need to work with the health professional community to reduce the number of prescriptions, um, the duration of those prescriptions, as well as the dosages of those prescriptions. And then we need to curb the illicit supply. Trump campaigned on conquering the opioid epidemic and quickly created a commission tasked with proposing solutions. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie heads the commission. According to the CDC, 142 people a day are dying in America of drug overdoses. This means that we have a 9-11 scale loss of life every three weeks. Last week, the Drug Commission urged the president to declare opioid addiction a national emergency so funding can be used to help the affected areas.